Vin Diesel and The Rock punch each other an exactly even number of times. This is spoilers. <laughs> Ooh, you saved it. That's true, though. Hello and welcome to Spoilers. I'm your host, Corey, also known as Kylo Ren Memes. I'm recording out of Simi Valley, California. And uh, tonight I'm joined with many a fine gentleman. So let's introduce this family. Weast to East. Uh, who are you? Where are you recording out of? And tonight's question is, what's your favorite movie car? And I guess to buy a few seconds of time for you guys, mine would be the Back to the Future DeLorean. What you guys got? Mm. All right. Well, I think I'm the next most weestest. This is Pappy recording from Louisville, Colorado. Uh, favorite movie car? Uh, Stevie, I, I, you're the expert. I don't know if it has a name, but the truck in Mad Max that has the guy with the uh, electric guitar on it with the yeah, planes. Yeah, I was playing all the music. That's probably my favorite, or at least the most distinct movie car I can think of. That's pretty sweet, yeah. Well, who's next? I don't know geography. The Elkhart boys. I'll go next. I, I have a car ready. Uh, Mikey recording out of Goshen, Indiana. And this car has an actual name. It's the car Nicolas Cage mm. tries to <gasps> track down in... Gone in 60 seconds. What is it, Gone in 60 Eleanor. seconds? It's called Eleanor. Mm -hmm. The Shelby Mustang. It's a beautiful car. Nice. I love that car. Can I pull a Brett in name two? Yes. I don't get how that became me. Josh is the one that was talking about corn and turkey. <laughs> no! Brad, this is a you thing. Mashed potatoes uh, and gravy. This is Stevie recording from Elkhart. Um, I'm going to be unoriginal here. I'm going to go with Mad Max as well. And Morton Joe's uh, giant truck, the Giga Horse. So gross. I think it's incredible. <laughs> so gross, though. Oh, it's so amazing. No love for the Interceptor? And then, uh, oh yeah, Giga Horse. I love it. And then John Wick's car, the 69 oh, so Stang. Good. Yeah, it's good. I love nice that choice. car. That is a good one. Who's up, Josh? Josh. Yeah, so I guess this is Josh from Goshen. Um, I could steal the Ghostbusters car. It's pretty Dang. cool from Brett, but I'll let him go on about that in a minute. Um, <laughs> you, go ahead, pick the guy's one. I'll pick the girl's one. <laughs> Let's be fair. The, the hearse? <laughs> yeah. I'm not really uh, like a grease head though. I don't think cars are usually like quote beautiful like Mikey said. So can I Gear go with head. can I go with Zords from Power Rangers? They're kind of like cars, but really cool. Only if it's the Turbo Zords because those actually are cars. Then there you go. There you have it. <laughs> <laughs> but those are pretty lame. Josh, you don't think cars are beautiful? If you saw like I a, do, man. a Ferrari, maybe I think they look cool or something. But like. I don't really look twice. I, I don't know. You never want to fuck a car, Josh? <laughs> Vin Diesel has. Yeah. Oh, I need to start taking testosterone injections, so I like cars. <laughs> <laughs> Brett, I don't think you've gotten your proper intro. You, your dick no. has never chugged a can of NOS before? <laughs> no, uh, this is Brett from Fort Wayne. Uh, I guess I'm an obvious open book, but yeah, mine is definitely Ecto-1. Uh, the Ecto-Mobile from Ghostbusters, so... I love it. The Ecto one is classic. What do you like about classic it, Brett? Choice, Brett. So good. I don't know. <laughs> it's iconic. <laughs> that was it. That was actually me playing the clip from the movie. <laughs> Fastest <laughs> The call. <laughs> uh, very good. Thank you, guys. Uh, well, tonight we're here to talk about Fast Five. Uh, we are doing a direct sequel to the. Fast and Furious. That one always messes me up as far as the name, because that one doesn't have a number in it. Fast and Furious, and then Fast Five. I guess we should just get right into it. This takes place immediately after the last one, Fast and Furious, where Dom was sentenced to, I think, 25 to life in prison. He's getting taken away in a prison bus, and Brian decides to throw away the badge and break him out, along with Mia, and there are two other random guys that work with him. It, right after that scene, it takes us to Rio de Janeiro, where we spend most of the movie. Brian and Mia go there, too. Corey, I have something to say about that opening, if that's possible. Before they get to Rio? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, go oh. ahead. I feel like in this brief... Fuck off, Brett. 
<laughs> no, trust. Th that was not to you. Trust me. I will tell you what I'm thinking afterwards. But you owe me an apology. But that's all right. I think you said Io de Rio, but go ahead. I'm sorry, Brett, and edit point. So what I was thinking about the <laughs> intro of the movie was that it starts out with three cinema sins, and I hate to like borrow off of that media platform, but Ew. they go, they like fade to black in that opening like blink sequence, and then they like reuse footage from the last movie, and then right after that they do like the so stereotypical local news montage thing. It's just like bam, 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 and I was straight just, like, from Pawnee, Indiana. <laughs> <laughs> was was heard happily heard happily yep <laughs> here's what we know so far this is all the aftermath of a daring daylight breakout there were 26 high risk inmates where well, everyone friends. on board has been accounted for except for one Sorry, dominic toretto the identity of the man they believe to have orchestrated the shocking escape that amazingly resulted in no fatalities this afternoon he is former federal agent Brian O'Connor. A fierce manhunt is underway for three fugitives tonight. Multiple federal and local agencies have joined forces in the search for Dominic Toretto and his accomplices Brian O'Connor and Mia Toretto. Oh, but despite every eye in the country looking for them, where Toretto and O'Connor are now is anyone's guess. More like turd crappily. <laughs> we can move on, but I just want to note that there's just like a lot what? packed into that first like minute. But that's what you take away from that, and not the yeah, bus. not that the I, escape plan requires you. multiple thank people. Thank you. That's, to that's what die. I uh, about. I hated <laughs> that how they flipped the bus. I mean, that's like the worst possible thing they could have done. No <laughs> fatalities. It's all yeah, good. Yeah, no they fatalities. So. You know what? Yeah. When you're in one of those, they handcuff you to the person next to you. Limbs would have come off. I'm See, sure. See, that's that's what I think was a real missed opportunity here. I really think it'd have been awesome if Dom would have lost his arm for like ninety percent of this movie, and then they attach a robotic like arm Jax. at the end bef oh, I love before it. like Biker he mice drives at the end, so he can do a stick and crazy things with it, and he's doing stuff he doesn't know he can do at the end because this <laughs> like that's cause, brilliant. I love it because this is where it starts to get real outlandish like like four fast and furious had some real questionable stuff but this is just getting ridiculous at this and point it's like was it mikey that likes to point out that like physics don't exist in this world it's so yeah so why not have a robotic arm it's so obvious like the oh the physics bugged me but I, but not really though i mean it's you know you know what you're getting into Real missed opportunity, boys. Paul Walker intentionally rear ends himself into this giant bus and flips the bus yeah, with no, a very a, small car. I was going to say, that's the first <laughs> thing where that, I mean, that, that doesn't work. Paul Walker should be dead in the very <laughs> opening. So should all the people in the bus who don't have seatbelts on. But they, they took into account the thickness of Vin Diesel's neck. Look, I agree with you guys. But we have to suspend belief. this is belief. all last movie stuff. Yeah, yeah, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> None of this happens in this movie. They just start reminding you that it happened in the last one. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. They they reuse footage. Yeah, they do. It's like it's USA's burn notice or something. It's kind of <laughs> cheesy. <laughs> that burn notice was awesome. <laughs> yeah, bro. Slow your roll. <laughs> oh. Pappy, why don't you tell us about Rio de Janeiro? They go to meet an old friend. What happens here? Yeah, they uh, they are in Rio de Janeiro, and and what's that kind of neighborhood called? Or the favela, favela, favela. favela? No, that's Favelas? those are just the slums of Brazil. Those houses, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. I've been to Brazil. Yeah. actually. I was yeah, gonna ask I've, about that. Yeah, it's pretty nasty. Not just I went to Sao Paulo, not Rio de Janeiro, but they're they're in the heart of stereotypical uh, Brazil. They let's see what happens here. They, they they meet up with Vince from the first movie, and I honestly didn't recognize him. Oh, really? Um, maybe that's because he was the first movie. Yeah, I mean, did you guys all pick yeah, up on that right he away? He also yeah. looked like Kane yeah. in uh, Mortal Kombat. Kano coming yeah, in. Yeah, for sure. He did. He's wearing a tank top, cool, no longer right? a mesh, but he's still wearing a tank top. Uh, yeah, he's an Australian <laughs> accent and a red eye away from being exactly <laughs> like Kano. Uh, can I interject real quick? Uh, I always think back to like, Pappy, I think it was during Los Enchiladas where you said to use the city you're in, like use the geography around you to your advantage. And I think any movie, you might think it's cliche at this point, but I think any movie that does is in Brazil and doesn't show like a cool shot of Christ the yes. Redeemer is missing out. It's yes. like the most 
first of all, it's my it's the cool statue and like everything around it is so awesome. And I loved how they showed that. I mean you have it's the to the Jesus character. I think. Well they showed it like six He's the, times. Yeah, it's the Jesus character <laughs> for sure. Absolutely. And the whole reason that they've kind of landed here is to essentially meet up with Vince, who has stopped here because he now has a romantic interest, right, Corey? Like, it's kind of all just chance that this is where they they ended up. He even says he was, like, kind of bumping his way down the continent and just kind of, like, fell here. Yeah, and Vince is kind of, well, he's, he both has and has not settled down from the life of crime. He has a family, but he's also got, like, a ton of goons with guns hanging around his house. But he basically Brazil. He basically offers them a job, and Dom was supposed to be there, and he shows up a little bit later, kind of at the last minute to do this job. Basically, Brian and Mia being on the run, they're completely broke, and they need you know to get some kind of means of income, and they have to do it illegally because they're wanted. So they get offered a job to steal some cars off of a train. This is like our first big action scene of the movie. Josh, why don't you tell us about what goes down on the train job? Well, I've been doing some physics over here on the side, and let me tell you what I've come <laughs> to the conclusion about. <laughs> uh, so, Paul Walker and Mia are inside of the train, and they like do this little stunt where they steal a key card off a guard or... Uh, like a meter maid sort of dude and they go to the very back of the train and they find the compartments where the cars are I don't know why they needed to be in there exactly because all it like this big old car with like a staircase comes up and attaches to the train and they just cut a big hole in the side yeah they cut a big chunk Um, out of this thing yeah and it slams down on the platform but they're like cool and good and that's when Vin Diesel like makes his appearance like I've come to save you, baby sister. <laughs> that that was actually pretty cool, though. Like, did that remind you of Mad Max at all when they're like flying around the desert, or did it yes. remind you of when Qu- Christian Bale blows up in Ford vs Ferrari? <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> Spoiler. I got to be honest; it didn't remind me of Christian Bale getting blown up in Ford vs Ferrari. It's a biopic. Yeah, it's a true story. <laughs> There's no spoilers on a biopic. <laughs> so, uh, you're right. So, they start taking these cars off the train. Um, things kind of go bad because the guys that they're working with are these cartel thugs. And they're kind of up to but, something. You can see that something's going wrong. So, uh, they split off and uh, things kind of start going awry, don't they there, Mikey? What? Well, why? Why? Why does... Mia had to get in that car like aren't, aren't we supposed to think that if she didn't or like they're gonna get killed like no matter what or is it just because they stole the car the car that they wanted I'm confused about that it suits her yeah but that's stupid like <laughs> that that sets everything in motion also I don't know I don't understand how Brian can like, yeah I mean I mean does Brian know Mia's pregnant yet not yet no 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 I feel like this is just real irresponsible on her part. <laughs> real, real irresponsible. Dude, what the heck? <laughs> Everything. Everything. Like she do. should be in this movie for like twenty minutes tops, then like sent home. Everything she does is irresponsible. She's a pregnant woman. <laughs> What'd you guys think of them falling off that giant fucking cliff? Uh, <laughs> they'd be dead. That's concrete. Oh, they'd be dead. Well, uh, that water's concrete at that point. Yeah. Just how fast <laughs> forward they're going when they start dropping. Well, yeah. okay. Their skin would be torn yeah. from their skull. The whether they die or not is one thing, but like Paul Walker's character, he probably could have done what he did, but Dom can't go against gravity, get out of his seat and jump like that. Dom can. I'd say most people can. He can do anything. Right? <laughs> oh, Dom can, I, I guess. His signature move Isn't is... that what Triple X did? Yeah. I don't watch He can do it, movie. man. Did it before, like 15 years before this. So basically what happens is they are betrayed by the cartel guys and Vince. And they take one of the cars and it has something that the cartel guys wanted. There's a little chip inside of it that basically is kind of a map to the cartel guys like cash houses. That he hit in a car, that he hit on a train, that he sent through the desert. (laughs) Okay. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Classic heist well, shit right there, you know? It was tagged by the DEA. Like, they 
they caught it or whatever, so they were just trying to get it back, I'd imagine. Yeah, and the Fast and Furious franchise makes great use of uh, GPSs, and the last time we had those hot girls on the GPS, this time we have this guy just putting his stash house yeah, in a safe have have location in a GPS. Like, on a computer chip? I don't know, USB drives weren't that common at the time. Uh, I know, but why do you have to have like <laughs> like a roadmap to this? <laughs> Because you might forget. He's got a lot going on. <laughs> Just put it on your Game Boy Advance. <laughs> if we're still on this yeah. scene. <laughs> put it on your Game Boy Color, man. All right. So during that whole incident, there are some agents that are killed by the Mafia guys. And that puts them, Mia, Brian, and Dom all at the top of the wanted list. So they have to send out a, a special agent after him. Diplomatic Security Service Agent Hobbs. <laughs> Um, I was going to toss to you, Mikey, but I didn't get a chance to earlier. What's he about, Hobbs? Hobbs? Um, everybody just <laughs> stay the fuck out of his way. <laughs> Quote Hobbs. <laughs> He's all about catching the bad guys and everybody getting out of his way. One-liners, working out, protein shakes. And getting a, a real strong pump. Oh, yeah, and steroids. <laughs> no. He's Lots clean. of them. <laughs> That's gross for him. <laughs> yeah, uh, well, it's just The Rock, uh, Dwayne The Rock Johnson, and he's uh, apparently this super agent, DEA agent, and he's been tasked with catching Dom, and he is all business. All right, listen up. The men we're after are professional runners. They like speed and guaranteed to go down the hardest possible way. So make sure you've got your thunderwear on. We find them. We take them as a team and we bring them back. And above all else, we don't ever, ever let them get in the cars. Crime scene's 10 hours old and counting, men. Let's go hunt. And uh, he kind of makes a couple orders, to uh, one, of, one, one of which is to find a, a translator. Uh, so he request this one lady i don't know her name uh cory do you remember <laughs> nevis yeah she's Tell like the one hottie. uncorruptible cop in all of i don't know probably a whole south america <laughs> what's her name <laughs> <laughs> okay uh, nevis elena nevis yeah so i mean that's pretty much the first scene we see of him and he's uh kind of a dick to all the other dea agents well, I noticed that she's like, she calls him out on like, hey, you chose me because of my smile. Well, I don't smile very often. And he was like, no, I don't. Sp I didn't choose you because of your smile. I actually chose you because your husband's dead. It's like, damn. He says something like, I, I don't have that good. My smile's not that good. It's pretty good. Yeah. And he was like, he's like, yeah, but you're single. No. <laughs> and I'm single and we're both here, so. <laughs> I I might get like his stat here, but at this this is the point in the movie where I looked over at Brittany. I said, "There's a lot of bad acting going on here." So, no. But you kind of know what you're getting, and I know the rocks. Dwayne Johnson is a pretty good actor, but I feel like he wasn't at his best in this. At least at the he's beginning. he's pretty different than Hobbs in Hobbs and Shaw. Like he's he's evolved he? a little bit over the years. Yeah, he's pretty hokey in this. I agree. It's not that it's bad acting, it's just like weird choices, it kind of seems like. Two things. One, I need a translator. Claro, we have in the public relations. A patrol officer. You heard me. But why? We have many more experienced people. I like her smile. What's the second thing? Stay the fuck out of my way. Yeah, but I just kind of meant when you pair it with Paul Walker and Vin Diesel, it's all pretty kind of bad but classic <laughs> and cool i thought but i thought this was paul walker's best movie so far that we've seen him in though like he he, he i don't know if they just like did a better job of like sidelining lining him or like keeping him like his whole role is just being a dad but i feel like he didn't ruin as many scenes as he did in like too fast too furious <laughs> oh, i felt that totally pappy i felt the sidelining for sure it's something i thought about like i almost they, had you bro <laughs> they tried to give him even like the father of the baby role to like bring him up but it's still like very clear that vin diesel is like the poster boy of the franchise at this point he is but mm -hmm. I, I even now and at the time i saw it man i i love brian i don't know for some reason i just oh yeah i love brian he's like he's like casual cool he's you a know? golden retriever <laughs> <laughs> i'm a roman guy so 
<laughs> All right, so what happens is they are kind of on the run from these cartel guys, and they're going to split up. They're going to leave Rio, Brian, Mia, and Dom. They're going to get out of there. Uh, but that's when Mia says she's actually pregnant and she wants them to stick together. No more running. That's kind of a common theme from here on forward throughout the franchise. And, uh, you know, they say, you know, we're a family, we're sticking together, so what are we going to do? And they formulate a plan. Stevie, why don't you tell us about their plan? So, is this where they had to get the gang all together? <laughs> Assemble the part of it. God, I, I really hate scenes <laughs> like this in these movies. I, I love we're going to need what? this. I got a guy. We're also going to need this. I got someone. <laughs> We're gonna need this. <laughs> Don't count this person we're, out. We're gonna need it's... a fast talker, a guy that can get himself through any situation. God, did he ever use that in this movie? He tried and failed. Yeah, it was a try and fail. It was like that never came in handy. <laughs> Wait, he he did what he was supposed to do in the cop thing. He was just wanted them to take that box in there, yeah, right? Yeah, he had to get that little Tyco RC in there. Yeah. Weird. Uh, but yeah, they assemble the gang from around the world, and that's where this plan is still kind of weird to me, but they're going to rob all the stash houses, like money cash houses this guy has, and one fell swoop, and no one believes it can be done. Exactly. That's what they'll say. Brett, do you remember who our <laughs> characters that are introduced are? Uh, yeah, you got someone who can blend in, which is Han. Apparently he blends in. I didn't really get that, but um, <laughs> I would think the one Asian guy would be the guy like who If this were in Tokyo, it would be perfect. <laughs> and I love Han. Don't get me wrong. He's like one of my favorite characters. Um, oh, that's the best, but yeah. He's great, man. And then, <laughs> and then he's a have, chameleon. <laughs> And his his canonical name is Han Solo. Maybe yeah, maybe he blends dope. in because he's supposed to be oh. dead, and nobody can understand why he's still walking around. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, was he's that, was that confusing at all? To I don't know what like, time this, this is. What is this a post Tokyo Drift? <laughs> Listen, Pre. he'll die eventually. They say it this at the end of the movie. Pre? They like oh wink my at you. God. <laughs> all pre. That's how yeah. good yeah, Tokyo alive. Drift is, money. Tokyo Drift takes place after six. That's insanity. Yes. What's the six one called? <laughs> Fast and Furious Six. Oh my god. Genius. <laughs> Brett, who else we got? Stevie. Yeah, so we got Roman. Like I say, he's the fast talker. You got uh Tej? I'm trying to read it. Te Tej? Yep. Ludacris. 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 He's a he's the tech guy. Uh you have Mia, who's the woman. Um <laughs> well, she's kind of a tech person too though. She's always on a comp. Giselle who's sne sneaky? What was it? <laughs> Utilities and weapons. And my two favorite characters in the whole movie are Leo and Santos. They're freaking <laughs> hilarious. I just listed that them in my notes as the two randos. Oh, uh, they're so funny, though. <laughs> are they, like, uh, but big they're... in pop culture outside of these movies? Do what? Like, those two actors, are they, like, big at all, like, in the music scene or other things, like, to be famous for? I don't know. I've never seen them. Uh, I don't know. So they're just randos, then, yeah. They were, in, they? they were in the last movie. Yeah, they were in Fast what are you Four. Talking? What? <laughs> well, I mean, how long were they in the last movie for, though? Two scenes, I think. The opening heist <laughs> and, like, the last yeah. heist, I think, or whatever. Three days of filming. Yeah. In and out. And that's pretty much the crew, except for the people that are already there. And you got the drivers, so we know, who's, we know who they are. <laughs> Two precision drivers. Okay. <laughs> Stevie, I know you didn't like this scene, but, like... We take it for granted that we live in like a post MCU world. Like, if you didn't know all of these people were going to come back, I mean, maybe you, that's unavoidable from marketing, but like, I didn't know who all was included, and I was just delighted. I was <laughs> so excited delighted. to see all of these people come back. Like, I really was. I thought it was awesome. Right, let's run through the bases real quick. Who do we got? First, we're going to need a chameleon, someone who can blend in anywhere. What else? A fast talker. Someone who could bullshit their way out of anything. I got that. This guy's gonna have a lot of surveillance. We're gonna need someone who's good with circuits. Come on. Probably only mom. And with those circuits, Reyes is gonna have walls. We're gonna need guys to punch through those walls. What else? 
utilities and weapons. Someone who ain't afraid to throw down. Someone to back up every position. Yeah, what else we need? Most importantly, we're gonna need two precision drivers. Guys that don't crack under pressure. Guys that never lose. You know we got that. Yeah, and Stevie, do you like it when Ocean's Eleven does a really similar thing? No. Yeah, but Ocean's Eleven's way... Yeah. No. I, I, I do. really don't like the get the crew assemble the crew and explain everything that goes on around Stevie. Them. What? What about Magru what about MacGruber? Oh Okay, MacGruber's hysterical, and those guys <laughs> die in three seconds. <laughs> yeah, it's so funny. Deadpool too. There's two. a payoff to that. There's a payoff. Deadpool, that's a good one too, yeah. <laughs> Alright, so the plan is they got their crew. They want to steal Reyes, the, the crime lord, drug lord, whatever he is. They want to steal all his money, but he's got it scattered throughout all these locations. So they're going to bait him into moving the money to a single place. They break into one of the houses. They they pull a, a joker, and they just set the money on fire. <laughs> and Donnie Darko. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> that's the child. That's the child porn on fire. <laughs> oh God. CP Brett. Edit point. CP. So yeah. they. Set the Reyes does fire. move the money, and he decides to move it all into a secure location, which is actually <laughs> the police station. What a. What a terrible strategy. The whole point of having your money scattered is so that way they can't take it all at once. Like he fell. I don't know how someone who falls for a trap so easily becomes yeah, the most true. powerful man in Rio de Janeiro. Like, well, he's going up against the best here, Pappy. It's how smarted by Baby Groot. What, what kind of bad guy keeps his money in, in cash, either? It's, I didn't realize that was him. That's Bujo from Desperado. Yeah. Yeah. What? Yeah, cool. I just thought it was Steve Gutenberg with a tan, but very cool. <laughs> Oh, wow. I like Mikey's points. I feel like the cops at the station should have been like, man, you should get like some assets or stocks <laughs> yeah, or something. Yeah, yeah. Invest, man. <laughs> Diversify, bro. <laughs> All that interest. Just Take going it from 10 just safe houses. Huge piles of cash. Like, it would only be more comical if they were in like bags with dollar signs on them, you know? <laughs> but yeah, so. Yeah. A lot of this movie moving forward is them planning the heist. So it's them planning, stealing all this money from the police station, and then later on executing the plan. We'll kind of go into that first part of it, of course. Uh, Mikey, why don't you tell us a little bit about some of the planning? Like, what are some of the things they got to do to get this thing rolled out? Oh, I, I don't really know. Um, it's uh, <laughs> For some reason, they have to <laughs> set up a course inside their hideout to run time trials through, apparently. Uh, they're trying to outrun. <laughs> they got funding. They're for trying that. to outrun the cameras and uh, like a security system, and they're just not able to do it with the cars that they have. Uh, I have a question. If getting four cop cars was so easy, why didn't anyone think of that earlier? It's because they wanted point, to see yeah. them drifting through the tunnels, or what? Look, man, you ever plan something out? Like one thing kind of leads to another. You gotta figure things out as you go. They're just throwing baloney at the wall. Yeah. <laughs> That's true, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm really just trying to defend him here. <laughs> so what, a couple of things they do is they infiltrate the police station. They get a hold of their cameras and they hack into them and all that so they can monitor what's going on there. But they need to get cars. They don't have a whole lot of money at this point, right? So they kind of go back to square one, to the street race community. What did you guys think of that whole bit where they... It's my favorite part of the whole movie. <laughs> yeah. Where it's like the first Fast and Furious, and it's like all this. It's like they're they're building it up, building it up. You're like, oh man, another street race, and then it's cut back to the warehouse with the car. That's pretty funny. We won. Absolutely perfect. <laughs> I mean, the, it's funny how the street racing world is just the same wherever you go, though. You know, there's just like always like chicks making out with each other, and this is the same fucking like EDM music playing. It's pretty great. After seeing so many of these movies now because of this podcast, like <laughs> when they hit that beat, it, I like felt it in the feels or something. Like, ah, yes, back home with family. <laughs> what? 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 <laughs> family. And before I knew it, I had a Corona in one hand and a taco in my like... mouth. I don't know what happened. <laughs> <laughs> But it, it, Corey, it's like the movie's trying to like pull apart like the street racing and the street racing culture. Like Stevie said, you don't get the street race here, and then there's like 
a quasi street race with the police cars, which is which rigged. I, you know what I mean? It's like I hated that. You're trying to move away Wait, from that. Brett hated it. Brett? Yeah, I I think that I mean I think it'd have been cut out. I think it's just fan service though, or I, they, hate, they hate that like a callback. I so guess. you so so it was necessary. The part when they I have guess. the cop cars and it's Brian, Dom, Han, and Roman. It's okay. That part. It's okay. It could have been cut. Yeah. I kind of like that scene. Okay. But compare that to. But compare that to the other street racing that we've seen in like one and two, especially Ugh. like it's so yes. much better. It's not CGI bullshit. Like, or even That's if it true. is, it doesn't look that bad. You know what I mean? Yeah, but it there's no really NOS. Good. There's no NOS. <laughs> Brad makes yeah, a good they point. They save yeah. up the NOS for the end. <laughs> <laughs> I knew Mikey would agree with me. <laughs> Who did you guys want to win that race? Ugh. Han. Uh, well, Han. Okay, yeah, well, Han. we have to name our yeah. favorite character, and everybody who doesn't say Han, yeah, just get Han. the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 wait. I will say oh, Gal yeah. Gadot. Gadot. Gosh, she's so freaking gorgeous. Um, she steals the screen when she's on it. She's like straight ScarJo status for me. She's pretty ridiculous. Yeah, she has an integral role in planning the heist because she has to get Reyes' handprint. Oh my god! Oh my god! That scene's so good. <laughs> Brett. <laughs> Brett, what does she do to get his hand? She has to get assaulted for the plot to move forward. <laughs> hey, she went into it knowingly. Um, oh my edit point. <laughs> edit point. But he was in a position of power. <laughs> that was the point, guys. It's the That's implication what she was trying to get is what Brett's do. trying to say. <laughs> so Hans, like, they're like reading each other, and yeah, and then she strips down. And goes and sits on Ray's lap, and he cups her butt, <laughs> and he gets a palm print that way. And by the way, I meant that scene's awesome by like her walking, not like I hate all you guys. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> I was listening, but like, Brett. does this does the science no. bear out? Like, Can you do why that? are you able to transfer? Unless his hand was covered hand in print. grease uh, and left a. A visible stain on her. I mean, I have seen a crime show, an actual crime where they they the person got caught because he left his thumbprint on a bed sheet. Damn. So I get hey, it's a lot more it's a lot more plausible than uh, face recognition over people with masks on. <laughs> but I guess we'll get to that later. <laughs> we probably Enhance. won't. So Enhance. if you want to tell us about that, <laughs> I'm cool with it. Yeah. So they're driving. They have masks on. And they can, like, get the face recognition software up. And they put it on the people with mask face, and they're like, oh, got him. It's in the eyes. And it's Dom and Han. It's like, come on. That doesn't do that. There's some insane science in these Also, series. like, the trope of, like, zoom in on this photo that's super blurry. And then make it yeah. super crystal clear. That doesn't exist. Well, it, it, Josh, it does, right? But you have to, like, work at it, right? It doesn't Don't they have really to like exist. send it to a lab? It, it basically Sun- turns into like a sketch artist at that point. Sun- Sunday walks, and hence, bro, and hence, oh Enhance. my god, Enhance. <laughs> edit point. All right, and hence, but Josh, Josh knows what I'm talking about. So we get kind of a, a midpoint before the big heist. Every Fast and the Furious movie here on moving forward has this as well. So some goons attempt to abduct Mia. But Vince rescues her. He kind of rejoins the family. And they have like that classic like barbecue and beer drinking. And Dom makes a, a nice toast to the family. Salute me familiar or whatever family. he says. <laughs> toast. <laughs> you say grace. Toast. Toast. <laughs> Money will come and go. We know that. But the most important thing in life will always be the people in this room. Right here. Right now. Salute me, familia. Salute. Salute. Mikey, I know you love that part, right? <laughs> uh, yeah, anytime uh, Vin Diesel pretends to be Hispanic, I, I love it. It's really fun. <laughs> <laughs> he's he's from LA. He's basically Hispanic. That's the way it works. That's true. <laughs> All right. So uh, they're about to do the big job, but something kind of goes wrong. They get raided by Hobbs and his crew, and we kind of get one of the big 
action scenes of the movie as far as uh, outside of a car, and that's where Dom fights Hobbs. Josh, uh, what do you so think what? of this whole fight? Uh, this seems to be a highlight that a lot of people like to talk about when they review this movie. Um, honestly, it wasn't that big of a highlight for me. I think, I think they both do a really good job and it shot well, but I think I'm too cognizant of like the whole equal punch thing that I'm not bought in. Dude, why does that bother you guys? I don't understand. <laughs> don't it. bother like, me. I, no. I just think it's hilarious. Doesn't bother me. It's it's. So- I'm with Mikey. It's such like a meme. It makes a hundred percent sense though. Like one, like there are less like action stars than there are NFL quarterbacks at any one given time. Like these guys got to protect their brand. Like it makes a hundred percent sense to me. They have a whole group of people who are depending on them to make millions and millions of dollars. Like they can't a get pack. their ass kicked in a it, movie. It doesn't bother me. The only two things that bother me are a, I don't think ever in a million years Dom could beat him. But also. <laughs> yeah. Also, oh, how many point. times are they going to fly through glass before one of them actually bleeds a little bit? <laughs> Have you seen how thick Dom's skin is? There's no way that man's yeah, pork dude. rind skin is. Dude, he's wearing rhino skin, bro. He's not bleeding. <laughs> I was going to say, though, Pap, you are being very naive. You don't know that much about the Fast and Furious franchise. All right? <laughs> <laughs> I've seen over half the that movies make now. You, a fan, you haven't seen enough. <laughs> no, I just think it's hilarious because, uh, well, we now know that like in real life, uh, The Rock and Vin Diesel don't really like each other. Uh, they kind of like have been beefing on the set of these movies, and it's kind of been a problem, uh, especially with that Hobbs and Shaw movie branching off. They were kind of upset about that. So it's yeah. just like funny that this everybody now knows that this contract thing was part of it so it's hard to believe that testosterone would play a factor in the set <laughs> here I mean yeah it's crazy my mind but is see, blown I, don't, I really don't think it's that though I think it's all financial like I feel like it's like it has this like macho reputation Josh but I feel like they're like protecting their brand you know well, then, I mean? Especially for an international audience. I know, but I don't want to see a brand when I watch a movie. I want to see characters and like. Pa- there's, I, I just know in my mind that's... like this fight is gonna end equally. There's no stakes here. So. But yeah, Pappy, why? If that's the case, I, I'm with you by the way. But why have Vin Diesel air quotes win at the end? Then why not have the... them get broken up some other way? Brought his character I'm just first not, full I'm just... circle. I don't blame the movie that, because of I read the IMDb trivia and it ruined part of the movie for me. Like I just don't I don't think about that. Like I don't know. I see where you're coming from. And and you're right. I think I mean how many other the rocks are there <laughs> in movies? Like I don't know of that many other big action stars like that. So I can I see where you're coming from. I mean, have you guys seen The Rock wrestle? I've seen lots of hours of The Rock wrestling and like it was cool to see kind of him playing like that part outside of the ring in like this context it was kind of cool didn't ruin yeah, the movie for me he should have given him the people's elbow though that or rock <laughs> he bottom he should off his shoulder oh, yeah, he, he could, I think he might have rock bottomed him he has a pretty solid <laughs> rock bottom in uh, 7 I think he just fucking and he, slams this guy through glass it's great and he does a rock bottom in the movie rundown like he should that should be in his contract too he gets to rock bottom at least one person <laughs> he gets to rock yeah. bottom the main character of every movie <laughs> no matter what movie it is, yeah. Moana. <laughs> Rock bottoms Moana. He gets to say the F word once and he gets to snap someone's neck as well. Yeah. Oh, man. So basically, Dom, Brian, Mia, Vince, they get captured by Hobbs and his, uh, his whatever DEA or whatever they are. They're taking them in, but on the way to get taken in, they're ambushed by the drug cartel guys. There's a big gunfight, and basically what happens is all of Hobbs' agents get killed, and Hobbs almost gets taken out himself. Can I hop in here again real quick? Absolutely. I've said on the show a million times, I don't care about plot holes, but I find this point interesting, and I saw this on IMDb, Pappy, so sue me, I guess, but, like, (laughs) Ray has had nothing really to gain other than maybe revenge for that ambush. He was going to take those people back to the America and out of their way and his money would be safe. So why ambush him? Re- revenge. Yeah, but it's a bad business decision. 
It sounds like a Stevie question. I feel like he's made strong. a lot of bad business decisions. Like business decisions. Yeah, he's not I can't very. Speak. He's not very sharp. <laughs> he's been really bad with his money this whole time, Brett. And I don't think he's that smart, even though he has that much money on hand. He's got uh, great suits, though. Yeah, <laughs> and this is a pretty awesome part of the movie. Yeah, no, it's cool. Like, this is like Keanu and Swayze linking up again. Like, it's a pretty oh, yeah. awesome part. Stevie, why don't you keep going? Take it from here, man. Yeah, you're going slow-mo here. And uh, Brian and all the gang come to save the day. Dom shotgunning people out. And he looks down at uh, The Rock. And he extends his arm. And they, like, grab forearms. And that's your oh, movie classic. poster right there. That's your movie <laughs> yeah. poster. Have like a tattoo of family on one of their forearms, but fast five underneath it would have been awesome. But yeah, that's like one of the better highlights of this movie. Except one of those arms should have been robotic. Yes, I'm telling you. It would have changed the whole dynamic of this film if Dom was missing his arm for 90% of this movie. Certainly would have. Wouldn't have been, been able incredible. To would have been able to fight the rock fairly. But then he gets his metal arm and everything. It's all sudden, like, it's all guns go. Groovy. It's been awesome. Honestly, the franchise is going that direction. Shit like that will be happening soon. Probably the next movie. Seriously. Good. I bet John Cena is like a fucking android or something. <laughs> <laughs> so He's my brother from another planet. <laughs> <laughs> Fast 12. <laughs> racing on Mars. <laughs> So because all of Hobbs' guys are killed, uh, he wants revenge. So he's going to join the family, help him pull off this heist, just so he can <laughs> kill the cartel guy. So they're going to do it. They're going to go through with it, even though they don't have the element of surprise anymore as far as still in the big vault. They're going to go through with it. They got Hobbs and his... This is just war. This is just flat out war now. Yes, absolutely. And Josh, why don't you tell us about the big heist? Oh my gosh, this is probably my favorite. This is what maybe really sold me on the movie, Corey. <laughs> Dr drove it home. It's pretty good. There, there are basic like runners on base everywhere, but this is like drove home a ton of runs. Um, <laughs> <laughs> they go in. There's two speedy cars, and then there's the big rammer truck, and <laughs> they get super close to this really fortified building. Everyone seems to be really preoccupied with protecting the offices inside instead of the actual vault. And the rammer truck busts a hole in the concrete. And then uh, <laughs> two speeder cars t uh, tie bungees to the giant safe. Bungees. And <laughs> Some kind of cables. They, yeah. <laughs> they pry it loose by squealing their wheels and probably using maybe just a little bit of NOS and get it out yeah. of there and start driving down the road. A little bit of a NOS trip. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty great. They got the two cars pulling this giant safe through the streets of Rio. Just, it's just complete anarchy. Things are going crazy. <laughs> so Mikey. many innocent people dead. Yeah. Just sliced <laughs> in half. Like, those people in that bank, all of them, heads ripped off. They, they got out of the way. They were fine. <laughs> <laughs> hey, how many... Who, who killed more people? This scene or uh, the this end scene. of Con Air when the plane goes on the strip? Oh. And a Con I'd Air. say this scene. End of Con Air. Easy. This scene is crazy. They wipe out like three city blocks of citizens. <laughs> I think this is Dude, a... how many murders are on your hand that makes it worth it to like stick together with family? Like you have to live with this the rest of your life. I mean, they killed more people in five minutes than Corona has this entire time. Like they killed a <laughs> lot of people. No, they didn't kill they people didn't... because there's a shot where through a bus window, a little like toddler is looking at him and just sees him go by. It's like. They're telling us, like, the, the <laughs> civilians are fine. Yeah, plus that safe is obviously super light, so... Um, <laughs> <laughs> Some of the cars just head I on mean, crash I mean, two cars can easily drag around an 11-ton safe. They got enough horses? Easy. So I don't get no, it. The no, no. <laughs> they got enough horses. <laughs> <laughs> the prison bus at the intro of the movie has no casualties. For some reason, the train... I guess that's a ton of casualties. That's like... Dr. Glass level of terrorism at that point. Mm. And then there's this event where like what are the low estimates for how many people died? Like at least 25? So 100. From what? Like the, the safe? Like running them over? Is that what we're saying? 
That's what they're saying. Well, that does go right into a building. I mean, I'm maintaining that the safe doesn't kill anyone. I think people... Maybe someone gets some glass on them, but I think what people are What about the cops? <laughs> the safe kills... There's like oh, a, the cops are all dead at the end on the bridge. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's a quick scene with Roman just casually driving like three police off the road to their deaths. <laughs> That's like three second clip. Okay, you know what? The cops do die, but... They're all corrupt anyway, man. They're pieces they're corrupt, of shit. Yeah. <laughs> they're corrupt cops. They're bad guys. It's pretty great. Anyone have any points about the any other points about this uh, safe situation? I love the switcheroo at the end. That really got me pumped. <laughs> me too, man. Mm -hmm. So they yeah. get kind of to the end of the line, <laughs> and <laughs> I'm sorry. So they get kind of <laughs> to the end of the line. Uh, they get caught up to by Reyes and his guys, but The Rock shows up and just very, very casually, very coolly, and very coldly just shoots Reyes dead. I love that. <laughs> boom, boom. Pretty good. I thought it was going to be a textbook. No, he needs to go to trial like the, the, the woman would have, like, even though she wanted revenge. <laughs> Should have been like, she don't be been like, like him. Oh, yeah, don't be like him, but no, nope, he just walks <laughs> up and shoots him. Oh, dude, he did what Anakin should have done to the Emperor when Samuel Jackson had him down. Yeah. Poor Sam. My thoughts exactly. power! <laughs> <laughs> he should stand trial. <laughs> so after The Rock murders this man, he tells Dom and murders. Brian, says, look, I can't let you guys go, <laughs> but I guess I'll let you go for a day. Just, you know, kind of get out of here. But you can't take the safe with you. So he does let them leave, but not with the money. Or so he thinks. Mm, switcheroo. <laughs> Brett, tell us about switcheroo. the switcheroo. So I don't know how the safe got opened, but uh, Rock goes over there and looks in the safe and it's empty. And then you get the classic smirk from Dwayne. I think you get the smirk, right? Oh, yeah, definitely. But it turns Big out that... Smirk. It turns out in a 10 second window um, that Mia mentioned earlier, they actually pulled the, the switcheroo with another garbage truck or whatever. And then they had another safe just sitting around. They just found it sitting around and then they they were dragging that around. So they already had all the money. It's kind of like Ocean's 12. They had it the whole time. But better, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, they get out of there, they get the money, uh, the family, they take it to their secret location, they crack it open, boom, money just pours out. So great. It's awesome, man. I love the song that's playing too. Uh, I just looked it up, it's Danza Kudro, like oh, that like, jam. dance anthem's jam. playing. It's so great, and there's just so much like happiness in this last little part too, like you get to see like what each one of them are like doing with the money like it, it's like compared this to the end of like the last movie that we did uh fast and furious like this is such an upbeat happy ending it makes me like yeah, it's kind of a rip off again. of the italian job but that's okay not as bad as the first one was a rip off of point break like at that's least we're true. not going beat for beat <laughs> well, this anymore. movie was oceans 11 mixed with italian job with a little bit of fast sprinkled on it original italian job or remake italian job <laughs> uh definitely definitely remake. The remake i've not seen the original Michael Caine. Mikey, uh, do you have any final thoughts at the end? Did you stay to the mid-credits? What happened oh, in the mid-credits? There There's mid-credits? Oh, man. Oh, yes, boys. <laughs> I left it on for Brittany to watch to see if there were any, and she didn't say anything. Ah, so. what happened? <laughs> well, before we get to that, actually, Mikey, it before the credits roll, Brian kind of wants a final race with Dom, and I wanted to ask you, being a fan of the series, do you think Brian could beat him head-to-head? -head? doesn't cheat head to head and they're both running twin turbo double nos up cars <laughs> souped up to the <laughs> um i don't know everybody says dom is dom is a legend and he's apparently worldwide renowned for street racing so i don't think mr worldwide has a chance mikey mikey what if he had a station wagon full of nos Ooh. cans that does change Whoa. the physics a bit. <laughs> <laughs> physics? What are those? It's a bit of an aerodynamic challenge there. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. I guess it really just depends on how many NOS tanks everybody has. <laughs> Whoever just has one more NOS tank is guaranteed winning. <laughs> Brian would need Stone. to be running some nitro meth to beat Dom. Oh, yeah. Nobody, only pussies <laughs> use that. Mm. 
Whoever hits Oof. Nas last wins. I'm pretty sure that's the rule. <laughs> oh yeah. If you if someone does it before you, you get to say too soon, and then you hit yours. Too soon. Then, <laughs> too soon, <laughs> Busta. They've only said it for six movies in a row now. So. <laughs> Pappy, mid credits. What do we got? Yeah, so we see Dwayne The Rock Johnson working hard uh, at his desk, presumably like in Quantico or DC or something, and this really smoking hot uh, secretary or the colleague comes in and she's super flirty with him. Like she lays down on his desk. She's like, I got some news. And she hands him this file. And he's like, explain some sort of robbery in Europe. He's like, not interested. And he's like, yes, you are. And she's like, yes, you are. And he opens up the file. And it's Letty uh, is the one who did the robbery. So she's back. Yeah. Where's Letty? Who'd they give the file to? I missed it. Who? The Rock. Uh, to The Rock uh, okay. from Hot Secretary. Letty is still alive. And then boom, it's over. Yeah, but Dom's new girlfriend's hotter. Can yeah, we all how like, does agree that on work that? out? With the new girlfriend and all. Well. I guess we'll have to find out. We get out. to see what happens. Yeah. <laughs> Nice. She's never seen again. She's just written out, I bet. Nope. Yeah. I want Han, that. Han gets the best girlfriend. Let's oh, yeah. Go. They got to give him something before they just fucking. We know he's going down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but he's alive. Eventually. It's a clone. I'm yes. sure of it. I'm calling it now. <laughs> it's a clone. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be like. It's getting more sci-fi. They're going to be like, yeah, we, we took some of his DNA right before the crash and we made like a super Han. Like. <laughs> seriously though like you have to think we, we kind of joked about it earlier but like and i like the two guys but han is definitely my favorite character and i know it's like a lot of people's they have got to regret that right i'm sure killing him in tokyo drift like it's like crap why did we do that yeah they they regretted it so much they made this whole convoluted definitely. timeline to undo <laughs> that mistake like <laughs> i mean without han i don't think i like this movie as much why doesn't he just have a twin brother who's also really good at racing? Probably what like it beer is, fest. Josh. Oh, that's my brother, Chan. <laughs> Chan. Hey, I'm Chan Bolo. <laughs> Triplets? <laughs> All right. Are you guys ready for ratings? Yes or no? Ratings. No, no. Ratings. Don't forget what show you're on. <laughs> What's ratings? On any rating skin. No, okay. Uh, are we ready for yes or no? I'm sorry. I'm very sorry. Yes. Yes. I knew this was gonna. I was you're, gonna slip up on this at some point. You're fired. Shout out, big dumb movie. <laughs> big dumb. All right. Uh, so let's go this time east to west. We'll head back my way. Okay, so that's me. Um, yeah, this movie's definitely yes. Ah, uh, I hate. The only thing I'm devastated about is I'm gonna have to go back and watch Too Fast, Too Furious because I've never seen it. Uh, I never wanted to watch that movie. I don't want to watch that movie. But I have no, to. No, you don't. Let Cole Hauser but, go, Brett. You were no, not I'm just, I don't. It's not a thing. No. Remember, I didn't. Uh, I was on a cruise or something. Oh. Yeah. But I'm just saying, if I'm going to watch the whole thing, I have to go back and watch that crappy movie. Hmm. So, but yeah, this is the yes. Um, I, like I said earlier, if you suspend disbelief and you deal with the shoddy acting at times and just realize it's just a really fun ride. I mean, yeah, there's there's nothing to hate about it. It's it's good. I enjoyed it. It's a definitely a yes for me. Awesome. I think I'm next. Uh, this is Josh. Shout out to Big Dumb Movie. <laughs> Thank um, you. This is a yes for me. Uh, instead of giving like a real thoughtful answer to a movie that's not the most thoughtful, I just want to give <laughs> like a couple quick highlights that we didn't talk about. Um, we talked about a lot of movies that's reminded us of, but there's like an Oh Brother, We're Out Though moment where they're in the garage discussing like what they would do with their share of the money if and when they got it, which I kind of appreciated. <laughs> um, there's also a speed reference at one point. I think Mia is like, can't we just replace the footage in their cameras? And someone's like, no, the speed scenario won't work. So that was pretty cool. Uh, they managed to get the most beautiful woman in the world driving a garbage truck at one point. Yeah, so which is extra hot. That was pretty cool. And also, finally, Roman says at one point, I'm going to get this money. I'm hungry. And I just really appreciate that. <laughs> so, big yes. I'm hungry. All right, I'll edit that out. All right, who's up next? <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, Stevie's up. Yeah, I'll go. 
Uh, this is definitely a super solid yes. It's one of my favorite. I mean, I haven't. This is the fifth uh, Fast and Furious I've seen. So, going along with the podcast, definitely one of my favorites. I don't like it as much as Tokyo Drift, um, but definitely an awesome movie. The Rock is awesome. Uh, just a really fun movie. Yeah, some of the writing and acting is terrible, but that's to be expected. Um, I'm looking forward to watching the rest of these movies, but I really, really hope Johnny Utah exists somewhere in this fast universe <laughs> and has a role to play in the 10th, 11th, or 12th movie. That would be awesome. That's what I'm hoping for. A man can dream, but yeah, definitely a solid yes. Hell yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, this is a definite yes for me. And uh, when I think about which Fast and Furious movie is my favorite, I think this one comes to mind first out of all of them, just because it's still semi-grounded in, uh, <laughs> in real physics. I mean, they're not launching cars yet into space and flying them into moving planes. Off cliffs. Yeah, uh, but... I think it just goes to show like how badly The Rock was needed in this franchise because I think it's just it's now like a real legitimate movie action movie now and uh, it just seems like a totally different franchise with this movie. It seems like a like a almost like a reimagining of what The Fast and Furious is. It takes it to a new level to me in my eyes. I, I think it's a great action movie, so I like it a lot. Awesome. So I think I'm next. Uh, yeah, I'll do what Josh did. Uh, a couple of parts that we didn't talk about too. I love that this is Brazil uh, when the people of Brazil uh, act like stereotypical people of Brazil and all pull their guns out <laughs> on the American cops. That was pretty awesome. And then uh, I love the callback. Ludacris uh, says, slap that ass at least three separate times in the movie, which is one of my favorite quotes from Too Fast, Too Furious. <laughs> but I've seen six of these movies now and I, I saw them in a weird order like yeah. I, I actually do really like going into a movie theater watching a sequel cold I've done it lots and lots of times now and it's really it's kind of fun uh, but so I saw eight first and then I saw one and on one I said I have no idea how those two movies are in the same <laughs> universe and this is the bridge is being built over those two continents and now I can see how they connect and this is absolutely peak fast and furious for me and a, a hard yes actually I I think there's just so much more joy in this movie than any of their ones. It doesn't seem to be taking itself seriously, which is something a lot of people say. But I think more like even just the ending scene where those two guys who Brett loves like both bet 100% of the money they just earned on a roulette game. And it looks like it's about to land on green and fuck them both over. Like it's just it's just a lighthearted, fun action movie. And like one of my favorite action movies that we've done for this podcast. So. Again, my first yes for Fast and Furious, and it's a hard yes for this one. Yeah, but there's not a lot of drifting, though, so, you know. <laughs> That's true. I Oh, I'm next. Uh, yeah. Well, going last is tough, because you guys have really said it all, but this is my favorite heist movie. It's my favorite Fast and Furious movie. I love this franchise. I get so fucking irked when people talk shit about this franchise online. And I've, I think I've said it here, I maintain that people that hate this franchise, like my wife, I love my wife, but you know, <laughs> they haven't seen it, and that's why they hate it. And if you watch this movie, it's, it's really hard to not have a good time. It's a fun movie, has great action, it's got The Rock and Vin Diesel fighting, and there's just a lot of adrenaline and uh, a lot of hormones getting thrown around. It's a good time, man. I love it. It's a yes for me. It's pretty chill. <laughs> Happy, you, this is the first. You didn't give the original one a yes. I thought everyone did on that. No, I've given them all no's uh, so far. I even said once I'll never give one a yes, but I stand. Yeah, corrected. you flipped out after but one this of them. One too fast. Preserved. <laughs> yeah. Six yeses. It's definitely burnt ribs for the the food. <laughs> With a Corona. Well, this is going down. Yeah, but he's not drinking a Corona. <laughs> For what? <laughs> Fast and Furious Preserve, man. Oh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> well, uh, that takes us to trivia. Y'all ready for trivia? Mm -hmm. I'm excited for this. I spent uh -huh. some time into this, man. I'm sending you guys a link. What we have is Poor Man's Jeopardy. Oh, boy. 
So this is going to be fun. So we Perfect. have uh, categories, like in Jeopardy. Each one is worth... Potent potables! <laughs> Each one is worth a different amount of points. Now, oh, no. this is going to be turn-based. So I'm. it's not like Jeopardy where you get to buzz in, because obviously we don't have that technology. But when it's your turn, you get to choose. And if you answer, you get the points. If you get it wrong or you don't know, it goes into negative. Some of these are kind of easy, so I have kind of a rule here. You do have to answer in the form of a question. You have been warned. <laughs> you have been warned. <laughs> wow. That's awesome. Let's go. All right. How many rounds are there? Till everything's gone off the board or what? You know what? I didn't know who was going to be here, so I was going to make sure it was exactly even. I have some hidden columns if we need more questions. I don't think we will, based on the number of players and the number of questions we have. Uh, but yeah, went until it runs out, basically. So uh, the order is listed here. Mikey is up first. Can you read the categories real quick, just so the audience at home... Oh, yeah. I'm sorry for the listeners. I got to read the categories. So we got five categories. The first one is Fast and Furious Actors. The second one is Country Capitals. The third one is the Fast and the Furious quotes from the 2001 movie. The fourth one is Potent Potables. Yes. Because it's a classic Jeopardy category. And the last one is I Need Nas. Now, the correct response for anything in that category will have N-O-S in sequence in the Mm. response. Nas. Hmm. Dig it. Noise. Hey, Corey, can we use one of your hidden columns and replace country capitals since Brett knows every one of them? <laughs> I'm a little rusty. <laughs> and no. Uh, I'm sorry, it's Josh. Just a no. re- <laughs> you said you had more columns. Why not? <laughs> I don't want to. I mean, look, Brett already has the disadvantage. He's going last. So if we miss a question, do the points go against us like Jeopardy? Yeah, negative. So it might be right. who's closest to zero. I don't know. Key. All right. Now, each, each category has uh, three questions for the listeners at home. Mikey, you're up. I'll do uh, Fast and Furious Actors for two. Ooh. Paul Walker was 25 years old when this film about a happy little town featuring the young actor was released. About a happy little town. Uh, was he in Pleasantville? Well, I guess your answer was in the form of a question, so... <laughs> Good job, Mike. <laughs> that is just barely acceptable. <laughs> Genius. <laughs> Great trivia. Stevie, you're up. Oh, Bubba. Uh, I will go with I Need Nos for two. All right. In this 1993 animated feature, John Goodman voices a Tyrannosaurus named Rex. Really? Um... I'm guessing you're going to make me use, like, the full title, right? Yes. That's so lame, because I only know it by one thing and doesn't have the NOS in it. Um... I'll say, what is We're Back, a dinosaur story? That is correct. Yes! Oh my gosh. Stevie. (laughs) Not bad. All right, Josh, you're up. Um, I just want to test something really quick. We'll do country capitals for three. I knew you were going to do that. I would tell you you lose three if you don't get it. London, England is the home to Fast and Furious 6 villain, Owen Shaw, Played by this actor. <laughs> so it's not country capitals, okay. <laughs> nice one. Is he played by Michael Stratham? I'm sorry, that is incorrect. Foolish. That's minus three. The correct answer is who is Luke Evans? Good actor. Uh. Give me a uh, country capitals for one. Please. Wait, is he is he Corey. his brother or something? They are brothers in the franchise. Yes. Got it. Pappy, that was country capitals for one. Yep. In the franchise's third installment, young racer Sean Boswell eventually obtains this title in Tokyo, Japan. Oh, what is drift? What is drift king? Correct. 
I thought it was a. Nice. I was going to say the American. Good DK? Job. What is the DK? <laughs> the DK. <laughs> the BK. You're up. Oh, um. I'll take potent potables for two. Step aside, Corona. The family is seen drinking this beer instead of Corona at the end of Fate of the Furious. What is Dos Equis? I'm sorry, that is incorrect. Yeah, I've never what seen it. What is Budweiser? Uh, Sold out. Parent companies. Family has a price. Travis. Mikey, the board's back to you. Um, let's do Fast and Furious quotes for two. <laughs> <laughs> Mia explains to Brian that Dom is like blank. Everything got pulled to him, even you. Uh, what is gravity? That is correct. <laughs> God damn, so... Mikey. You gave him all the easy ones. Stevie, you're up. Well, I can't let Mikey get too far ahead, but I gotta keep it somewhat close. Um, let's go with potent potables for one. Dom Toretto's beer of choice. What is Corona? That is correct. Hey. Wow, it's a gimme. It's, it's a one-pointer. One, it's a one-pointer, Brett. <laughs> Josh, you're up. I'm deep in the hole Gotta here. Go for three. So I'll do Fast and the Furious quotes for one. <laughs> for one. Okay. <laughs> no, Monica! Shouts, <laughs> <laughs> shouts this famous rapper when he loses a race. <laughs> Could it perhaps be ludicrous? Oh, you I'm fool. sorry, that is incorrect. <laughs> oh, wait, what? <laughs> it's I ja totally Rule. thought it was. Who is Ja oh, Rule? Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh man. Tragic. <laughs> it's just one. It's just one. So. Uh, give me, I need Nas for one, please. Oh my gosh. This early entry into cinema featured the undead and borrowed heavily from a popular horror novel. What is Nosferatu? That is correct. Wow. Nice. Pappy, you stand with two. Oh, man. This is where going last has an advantage in this next round. Ooh. Does mm. it? I will go Fast and Furious actors for one. Michelle Rodriguez featured as a helicopter pilot in this 2009 James Cameron film. What is Avatar? That is correct. That takes you from negative two to negative one. I'm hoping people are going to start missing threes. My turn. Mikey, you are up. Um, let's go. You can't pass, right? No. Let's no. go quotes again what? for three. Fed up with Brian ordering tuna with no crust, Vince shouts that he should try blank from now on. Where you can get yourself a cheese and fries for two ninety five. Uh, he doesn't say the homophobic slur here, does he? <laughs> <laughs> That's the next word, but it's outside of this question. <laughs> uh, uh oh, sorry. What was the question again? <laughs> Fed up with Brian ordering tuna with no crust, Vince shouts that he should try blank from now on, where you can get yourself a cheese and fries for two ninety five. Um, what is Jack in the Box? Oh, I'm sorry, it is Fat Burger. What is Fat Burger? <laughs> is the uh, so that takes you from four to one. Stevie, you're up. Oh, I don't like this. Um. <laughs> well, I want to see Mikey pick a movie, so. Let's go for it. Let's go. I need Nas for three. This actress had a cameo in another family movie, 2005's Fantastic Four. But now you can find her on Nuvi. No idea. The correct answer is Maria Menounos. 
She's always in the movie theater telling us about upcoming movies. Yes. Yeah, she's also been in like four WrestleManias. Oh, really? Yeah. Potent Potables for three. Stevie, that takes you to zero. Good. Josh, Potent Potables for three. Kurt Russell's character, Mr. Nobody, prefers ale from this European country. Oh, you gotta get your ale from Belgium. That is correct. Nice, Josh. Wow. Nice. A man who knows his drinks goes from negative four to negative one. Woo! Currently, Pappy, Wait. you are in the lead, and it is your board. <laughs> Give me uh, country capitals for two, please. This Fast and Furious movie opens with a race in Havana, Cuba. What is Fast and Furious 6? That is incorrect. Uh, what is Fate of the Furious? I've seen that movie. I did a podcast <laughs> on that movie. <laughs> <laughs> Brett, you do have a chance to win if you get this one right. It's the last question on the board. Uh, <laughs> it's between you and Mikey. I'll take, yeah. Uh, Fast and Furious actors for three. Dwayne Johnson's first Fast and Furious movie was Fast Five, but this movie marked his film debut. Oh my goodness. Did you know The Rock actually sung Eric Clapton's Wonderful Tonight <laughs> in the ring at a WWE event? Uh, such a great song. Is that true? <laughs> yeah, so Rock's politics are probably bad, just FYI. Cool. I looked into that Eric Clapton story, Josh, and it is messed How up. long does he gotta have? <laughs> Keep talking. Is there a buzzer here? <laughs> yeah, Corey? for real. But, uh, what is ready to rumble? I'm sorry, that is incorrect. Yeah. The correct response is... Mummy 2? <laughs> what is The Mummy Returns... <laughs> Scorpion King. Oh, wow. <laughs> so about Mikey that. wins with one Mikey! point. Yes. Mikey, you have one trivia, my friend. Zero time deciding, Corey. <laughs> I'm very happy for you, Mikey. And I want to let you guys know that when designing this trivia, I didn't put any questions that I wouldn't know the answer to. So I tried to make it fair in that way. Oh, big man Whoa. on campus. <laughs> Wish you would have just done regular country capitals. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, you were supposed to pick that category first, Brett. That was. <laughs> Thank goodness, Josh. I mean, I lost anyway, but yeah, I would not have definitely not have gotten that. I don't even know who Luke Evans is, so. We're going to send it to Spoiler Man for a minute while Mikey gets to pick his uh, next movie game movie. Spoiler Man, what you got to say? Spoiler Man here. Our email is podcastspoilers at gmail.com. Twitter is at spoilers underscore pod. Our Instagram is podcast spoilers. It's lit. Josh Hensley from the Rutabaga wrote our theme song. Our spoilers hotline is 903-776-4507. That's 903-SPOIL-07. Please support this podcast by leaving us an iTunes review. That was very nice, spoily man. Thank you. We appreciate that. <laughs> We're back. Mikey, do you have a movie pick for the next time we do a movie game movie? I know we got some punishment ones down the line, but what you got? Uh, I have some Mikey punishment March. movies coming up. <laughs> uh, that's for sure. But I guess I also have uh, the winning uh, pick this next week. And i needed absolutely zero time deciding we're going to keep this fast and furious train rolling so we're just going to go with part six yes <laughs> glorious franchise good man <sighs> see mikey i knew i could count I, on you i told Brittany what movie i was going to pick and she said i am pretty invested in these fast <laughs> movies because <laughs> she's been dreading this for two weeks like oh fast uh and then now she's i know man so. once you get them into it it's it's addicting isn't it once you get the dom in you can't <laughs> oh. get it out <laughs> well that was fast five thank you all for joining us 
don't really know how to close this out. Uh, <laughs> spoiler. Good job for your first real hosting yeah, job, Corey. Good job, Corey. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I guess Spoiler Man here is going to do the heavy lifting for me. So uh, thank you all for listening. You're not going to say take it away, Spoiler oh. Man? I thought you knew about okay, that. Okay, wait. All right. Sorry. I'm nervous, okay? Give me a break. <laughs> <laughs> Take it away, Spoiler Man. Please support this podcast by leaving us an iTunes review. To do this, one, search for movie spoilers. Two, click on our orange spoilers bowl logo and scroll all the way to the bottom. Three, leave us some stars and some words. Now you can check us out on Spotify, YouTube, Stitcher, Apple, and Google Podcasts. If you enjoyed what you heard today, subscribe on SoundCloud or iTunes. Spoilers.